The nine mark question is the most valuable question on the AQA GCSE geography papers and it's important to work on your exam technique throughout your studies. Some of these questions also include three additional marks for spelling, punctuation and grammar, so it's also important to consider your standard of writing. To accompany this series I've created some resources to help you elevate your work to the next level. I've written four nine mark questions that you can plan using the peel planning technique and then self or peer mark using my marking criteria. To help you even more I've included a model answer for each question to give you extra examples of how you could respond to these type of questions in the future. I've also included some posters to remind you of the command words, marking criteria and main case studies for this course. Click the link above or in the description for more information. So let's start at the end and consider what examiners are looking for and how they will mark these questions. This is just a quick simplified approach to nine markers so if you're looking for more detail then please speak to your geography teachers. The four, six and nine mark questions are all level marked meaning that examiners will read the entire response before selecting an overall level before settling on how many marks it will be awarded. A level three mark response in general includes high detail. The student has applied the keywords accurately while also considering what the command words are actually asking. The main thing that separates a level three mark response to a level two is the use of case studies and any figures included. To obtain the highest marks, you must demonstrate that you understand these examples and you fully apply the included figure. Lastly, some questions will require students to state an opinion. Examiners are looking for the students to justify and evidence what they think about a specific question or statement. Including phrases such as I think or I believe are important to include in responses. A level two mark response includes a lot of the same elements as a level three but lacks detail or accuracy. Some understanding might be communicated but it won't be in as much detail. If a question asks of the student to include information on a case study as well as the figure included with the question, quite often pupils will only include one of these. Often pupils will only pick up one to three marks if they only include a few pieces of relevant information. These level one responses usually only include very basic content, don't reference or include any case studies or the figures and lack of application. If pupils are often getting only one to three marks, an easy way to improve would be to start including case studies that are relevant. If a question allocates spelling, punctuation and grammar marks, you could be awarded up to three extra marks. To obtain three marks, your writing should be consistently accurate with regards to your spellings, using rules of grammar effectively and appropriate use of a wide range of geographical key terms. Students will obtain two marks if there is considerable accuracy general use of the rules of grammar and a good range of key terms. One mark will be allocated if there is some accuracy, errors do not significantly impact the response and limited keywords are applied. If students do not write a response or what they have written is not relevant to the question, they will receive no mark for spelling, punctuation and grammar. In my experience, the majority of pupils usually receive two marks if they produce a few paragraphs that have adequate spelling and punctuation. Three marks are for the outstanding responses that are well written and really flow. One mark is usually allocated if pupils do not write much. Do include a few key words but make several spelling mistakes. Now that you've learned about how the questions are marked, it's also important to understand the different command words used. So click on the next video to improve your knowledge of the specific words examiners use to direct you to what to write about.